We wish you a merry Gagan Press. We wish you a merry Gagan Press. We wish you a merry Gagan Press and a happy new year. High pressings we bring to you when you're attacking. We wish you a merry Gagan Press and a happy new year. Welcome to Eddie's Football Waffle. Welcome back to Eddie's Football Waffle guys Let me get into it We may get our festive period Yet we may get our Merry Gagan Press And a Happy New Year Because the fixtures are back And especially for Man United fans We've been waiting It's been two weeks now Since our last game I don't think Man United could actually physically train Because of the isolation stuff they have to do When Covid's around So I'm hoping that Professor Ralph Has got back into the lab And has gotten to doing more of his theory his more refining his gagan press work and coming up with more equations to apply to man united right now i mean surely he will have that initiative he's a wily wise guy of, of you know i think he's 63 he knows how to adapt his situations so operation fix it ralph is still a go maybe ralph has got these guys during the two week period to do some homework maybe he's given them some gagan press exams to take home you know i'm i'm just hoping he's done that and then when the boys come back i'm hoping it is boot camp settings i'm hoping there's going to be some real discipline because you have to have discipline to learn a new system purpose in this army to do whatever you tell my drill sergeant god damn it gump you're a goddamn genius I, I i'm really hoping that ralph is gonna be the drill sergeant that these guys these these undercoached prima donnas need to, to get back into being serious i mean during ollie's tenure it has to be said there was a lot of reliance on the hero an individual moment of brilliance so hopefully, you know, this new system gets them to be a bit more disciplined, look after possession a bit more, and therefore goals can come from other parts of the team. Because there was an over-reliance on people like Bruno, on people like Rashford. When you let them do what, what they want, sometimes it leads to Bruno losing the ball, punting it upfield, trying too many Maverick balls, or Rashford trying to dribble through three players instead of keeping it simple, working some one-twos, some team play. So that'd be, that'd be great to see if that gets improved. But we can see that Ralph's been thrown in at the deep end to come in and try and save a, a team that should have been in the title race and actually change the style, get them back to thinking that they are winners, actually making up for the fact that these guys were undercoached uh, by the, the old team that was there. It's, it's gonna be a big job. So I'm, I'm, I'm hoping Ralph will see that some, some fast tracking has to be done even though you don't do that with beautiful philosophies you, you you take your time you make sure all the the inner workings are developed but certain situations call for fast tracking and i hope that ralph will will see that maybe some players some of his old students that already know his gig and press can come in and help with with the speeding up of this process of getting the team to change their ways so we've already seen Ralph get his auxiliary coaches in. People like Chris Amas, Sasha Lenz, who's a psychologist, and then most recently, Ewan Sharp, who's also a coach and analyst. This, this is looking to really structure the team now and really get people working on the same wavelength because I thought that Ralph was gonna have to teach the players and teach the staff two times the amount of work. And luckily that's not been the case. So this is as to the fast track idea. So we have rightfully seen the back of Michael Carrick and Kieran McKenna, who were out of their depth, you know, respect to them for, for trying, if you can call it that. Michael Carrick's gone to, you know, spend some time with the family, respect to that, get some R&R &R time. And then McKenna is actually going through with more work and he's got himself a head coach job at Ipswich. I mean, it's a massive step down. It's a, it's a massive step down. It's like, it's like he's gone from being next to Ollie at the wheel of a Mercedes to being at, to being at the wheel of a second-hand Mini Cooper. So getting back to what Ralph needs to do or what I think he needs to do, okay, this is just my opinion. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping he, he can get some loan signings in, get people in, especially in the midfield engine room where you pretty much, you're doing most of your work there. A lot of, a lot of the time the ball is in the middle of the park 
games are decided by the midfield battle, it only makes sense to, to get in some midfielders that know the game can press so you can at least run your engine room in the way you want it to. So we've seen people like the likes of Amadou Haidara has worked with Ralph at Leipzig. He's still there. He's still a young prospect. He's still only 23, he's a squad player and very versatile, can play in centre mid, defensive mid and right mid. And all that versatility shows me that he's got legs for days. If you can play centre mid, it means it implies you're a box to box. If you can play defensive mid, it suggests you can tackle. If you play on the on the on the wing, that suggests you've got good fitness and you can go up and down. So that just makes sense. Hopefully Ralph uses his contacts to get him in. Other people which I think should be looked at. People like Conrad Lehmer, who is also has worked with Ralph in the past. He's still at Leipzig. He's another young guy, 24, big strong guy as well. Uh, has a similar versatility to Amadou Haidara who play defensive mid, centre mid and on the wing as well. So I suggest he's got the same traits of having fitness the, the legs to run, a bit of defense in them, things like this that need to run an engine room. Other people like Tyler Adams, who is another guy at Leipzig, worked under Ralph, has great versatility as well. Defensive mid, right back, right mid. There's, there's the idea that uh, Wan-Bissaka is not, not up to the job because of the, the, the way we've seen him kind of struggle to go forward with the ball, uh, dribble, make, good passes all of the time. Sometimes he can do it and sometimes he can't. He's, he's kind of a Dr. Jekyll and a Mr. Hyde kind of combination, but he's awesome at defending. One of the best one-on-one -on -one tacklers. But coming back to the point, he's battling with Diego Dallo now for, for the right back. And you know, if even if he's not up to it, then having a Tyler Adams come in that is familiar with the Gagan press system can play right back. Maybe he can get can get tried there. So uh, we, we've we've seen those players. There's already a link to what Ralph loves to have around him. It's, it's young players, versatile, and this is what hopefully we're going to see at Man United. So with with, with other rumours from the media, there's the likes of uh, Declan Rice has been rumoured. I mean, I think that they'd want something. Like like ridiculous like an 80 to 100 million something like that and it just brings PTSD flashbacks of the way Man United have wasted money with the likes of Maguire fridge with the likes of Maguire being bought for 80 million at least at least in retrospect at least 50 or 60 million over over what he should have been bought for even wan is one of my favorites 50 million kind of suggesting in retrospect that you should have got a, a full right back for that which is a new age of right back which is someone that's just competent going forward most of the time and is a good defender but we see with Basaka he's awesome defending but only competent maybe half of the time going forward hopefully that kind of sign is not made hopefully we go for some more uncut gems the likes of what Ralph has found in, the, in his previous years there's people like Kamara who's been looked at who I, I don't, really, don't really know much about him but he He's a young player, can play centre midfield, defensive mid. Maybe this is one of the uncut gems that, that Ralph could, has maybe identified as well, uh, you know. But I want to see some more of these guys come in, train into a system and get just pretty much improved to a next level. Anyway, I'll say again, I hope Ralph is given enough time. I hope there's no messing about when he's had this interim phase of the six months. Overall, we surely have to see this guy take the football directing role and I, I would say already because of the CV of the, the way he's improved clubs in the past I mean just looking at his improvement of the Red Bull franchise he took Red Bull from being worth 120 million to 1.2 billion now if the gla if the Glazers don't see that that commercial improvement there is not something to snatch onto with both hands you gotta be crazy because all the Glazers know is money. This guy Ralph knows how to plug football philosophy and monetize it. Now you could say, oh, because they were a small brand, only 120 mil, it was easier to grow them. I don't think so because it's still trying to get a small brand to become a big brand. That that's that's growth involved, and any growth is always hard, right? And then you, you could say with with Man United, oh, yeah, Man United, uh, they're probably making all the money they they could do at this stage. I don't think so. I'm thinking this because of how. How bad Man United have played in these past nine years. I'm sure there's been fans that have turned off the brand or new fans that have gone and supported the other half of Manchester, the blue half. You 
you know? So if Man United get this Gagan press properly integrated, start playing football that looks better on the eye, they'll get more fans on the side. More fans will, will, will want to join the brand and invest in it. There'll be more sponsors coming in. They'll be fighting to try and sponsor a team that's playing great football and has a great history. And then surely if you've got that, you got the good philosophy you're going to go and win more cups the money will be rolling in but anyway it's got to be taken a step at a time the next run of games is a mixture of interesting levels of talent newcastle relegation battle they're going to be scrapping but they're not going to be technically sound burnley i think they're, they're close to a relegation battle too i think they're actually in the so they're in the same boat the likes of wolves or mid table they're gonna they're going to be a bit more technical villa also mid table more technical team. So all we can see is the next stages of Fix It Ralph going into action. And I'm, I'm, ho I'm hoping for, for some good football in the meantime. But anyway, I've, I've waffled long enough. Thanks for tuning in to another Football Waffle. Like and subscribe if you're rating the content, get in the comments, give me a critique, you know, just bring up some points of what you think is gonna happen with, with Man United going forward anything that's on your mind get in there and catch you on the next one